In the hushed silence of a summer night in 2008, a love story was brutally and irrevocably brought to a tragic end. This isn't your typical tale of romance, but a story steeped in obsession, betrayal, and the darkest corners of human nature. This is the story of Jody Arias and Travis Alexander. Picture this. A young photographer, Jody Arias, with a seemingly innocent smile, meets a charismatic motivational speaker, Travis Alexander, at a conference in Las Vegas. Their connection is instant, the attraction palpable. Yet, beneath this veneer of chemistry lay a tumultuous relationship, one that would spiral into a tale of fatal attraction. As we delve into the past, we find Alexander, a devout Mormon, struggling to reconcile his faith with his intense physical relationship with Arias. Jody, on the other hand, converted to Mormonism, seemingly to strengthen her bond with Travis. But the tensions between them mounted, fueled by jealousy, infidelity, and the strain of their clandestine relationship. Their story took a chilling turn on June 4, 2008. Alexander was found brutally murdered in his Mesa, Arizona home. His body bore 29 stab wounds, a gunshot to the head, and his throat slit from ear to ear. The level of brutality was shocking, even to seasoned investigators. But who could commit such a heinous act? The evidence all pointed to one person, Jody Arias. But why? What could drive Arias to such extremes? The motive, as alleged by the prosecution, was jealousy. Arias was unable to accept the end of their relationship and the fact that Alexander was moving on with other women. The defense, however, painted a different picture. They argued that Arias was a victim of domestic abuse, driven to the edge by Alexander's emotional and physical torment. The trial that followed was nothing short of a media circus, captivating the nation with its lurid details and dramatic testimonies. Arias herself took the stand, asserting self-defense, a claim contradicted by her initial denial of involvement. It was a story that seemed to change as often as the wind. In 2013, after a trial filled with twists and turns, Arias was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yet, even with the gavel's final sound, many questions remain. Was Arias truly a victim, or was she a manipulative murderer? Was Alexander the saint his friends believed him to be, or a man hiding his darker side? This story is a chilling reminder of how love can turn into obsession, how passion can lead to violence, and how nothing is ever as it seems. As we reflect on the tale of Arias and Alexander, we are forced to question our understanding of truth, justice, and the human capacity for both love and violence. It's a tale that continues to resonate, a dark echo of a love that ended in tragedy.